Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about words. Not etymology, which is a study that I happen to find fascinating, the history of words um, and uh, how we arrive at the meanings of the words we have today, both in the technical sense and in their colloquial use. But specifically the emotional weight of words. How specific terms can have specific impacts on people because of the way the words are used in today's world. Um, this grew out of a conversation I was having someone here on YouTube. We were discussing the term cisgender and transgender. And um, I'm listing them alphabetically, just in case anyone asks. Uh, and the fact that I use them because they are neutral. I am not saying that one is better than the other, one is considered the, uh, the most likely or not. I'm just saying these are words I'm using to describe the gender identity of some people. Some people are cisgender and their identities, gender identity aligns with the, what they were assigned with at birth. And some people are transgender where it doesn't. And they could be gender fluid. They could have any range of gender expression. Um, gender identity can be huge. It's a big spectrum. So over the course of this, uh, this conversation, uh, the person says that they don't like the term transgender because we already have a perfectly acceptable word to use and that word is abnormal because clinically technically a person that is transgender is less statistically likely to be in, in the population than a cisgender person so calling them abnormal is completely and utterly proper and I was trying to explain to this person that while clinically technically that is correct that the word abnormal has a lot of weight behind it. If you tell someone they're abnormal in any regard, they're very likely not going to take it well. Some will, of course, depending on the particular variety of uh, topic that you're discussing. But many people, I would go so far as to say most people, won't. And the person insisted they felt they could use that term when speaking to a transgender person in a non-controversial manner. And I said, best of luck with that. I said, but don't be shocked if in your pursuit of that, that the person never speaks to you again. Because I can tell you, if you insisted on using that term um, for a transgender person, and I heard, overheard the conversation, I would never speak to you again, because that would be monumentally insensitive. At one time, the word moron clinically meant someone with the intelligence of a person that is between 7 and 12 years old. That's what the word originally meant. Of course, in the modern usage, the word moron just refers to someone that is stupid. If you call someone a moron, it is not a kindness. It is not being used as a clinical medical term. And if you were talking to a parent and having to discuss the fact that their child um, has a developmental disability and you said that their child was a moron, I think it would be safe to say that your average parent would not handle that well because that word has emotional weight. The words we use are important and calling a transgender person abnormal while clinically technically correct is insensitive. Is insulting. It is saying you are not normal. Doesn't matter if they're the statistical minority. That is not how people use the terms normal and abnormal. We use them as a way of describing the in group and the out group. The out group is abnormal and transgender people already deal with enough of being shoved into the outgroup. I think telling them that I see you being just as important, just as much a part of our culture as the in-group in this particular regard is important. They have enough fights already. They have enough struggles. We don't need to add to their burden. I hope the person I was having the conversation with thought about what I said. He never replied again. Um, I really do, because that's an attitude that I think could hurt a lot of people. And if that person wants to think that in their head, 
go for it. You can think that in your head if you'd like. If the person wants to think that transgender folks are abnormal, fine. Just don't say it out loud. Hopefully, maybe, even that person will come to understand why the terms normal and abnormal are so important and why it's important that we accept each other as much as possible for who and what they are. Um, I didn't insult the person. I just told them the truth. That if they used that term, I wouldn't want to talk to them anymore. I don't know if that has any impact on people. I don't know if the silence of others would matter. But I'd hope it would. I'd hope when someone uses an insensitive, distasteful, openly disgusting term, and they are met with stony silence, that that will thunder in their ears. <laughs>